How close are you going to get? You know, people get scared about this face, all right? <laughs> Don't worry, I, I like to switch it up. All right, go ahead. Well, I'm Mark Lassery, and I run a company called Avenue Capital. Avenue Capital invests in special situations, distressed debt. Mainly, we try to buy debt at a discount to try to effectuate change in companies that are in trouble. So I've been doing this for close to 30 years. So I'm always asked, you know, how do you succeed? What's the secret to success? You know, the best advice I could ever give somebody is you actually want to work for someone who wants to see you succeed. A lot of everybody's career is working for someone. I used to clerk for the chief bankruptcy judge, and you've got to work for somebody who wants you to succeed as much as you do. Otherwise, it's going to be really difficult. That's number one. Number two is what everybody says, and nobody ever wants to hear, but you've got to work really hard. I mean, you've got to be really good at what you do, and you've got to have the right attitude. You've got to be always coming into work excited. The reason for that is nobody wants to be around people who don't work hard and people who aren't happy. Folks who love their job and people who work very hard will tend to succeed more than others because everybody wants to work with those folks. The question is always, what makes us hire certain individuals? What makes someone special? I would tell you a lot of it is obviously that person's got to be smart. But more important, are they well-rounded? We try not to just hire people who are book smart or street smart, but really a mixture of both. So the question is, how does technology affecting us and sort of the disruption that's there? The way we try to deal with it is, I think you constantly have to be hiring people who are young, people who live that technology, who understand it. Eric Schmidt once said, and he said this at the graduation of uh, my daughter at school, the difference between your generation and my generation is my generation thought that if you did something embarrassing, you didn't tell anybody about it. Your generation ends up putting it on YouTube and telling the whole world. And if you sort of think about that, that's actually why you constantly have to have a multitude of different people and diverse people, because people look at technology very differently. I never would have thought that a company like YouTube would have made sense. Younger folks would have understood that in a heartbeat, whereas people of my generation would have had a harder time. So I think to constantly understand technology, you've got to be dealing with people who are using that technology and understand it. What qualities does someone have who's a leader, whether it's in this country or other countries? I think what you find is that the most successful ones are the ones who are able to communicate with people and are able to show empathy. Ultimately, the only way you can end up holding a very high office and being successful at it is people want to elect you or people want you to represent them. And they're only going to do that regarding people who they feel understand their problems or who they feel can communicate those problems. How can young people sort of find folks who want to mentor them? Look, I think at the end of the day, when you're young, you think you know everything. You probably do. The one thing you don't have is really sort of a great deal of experience. So I would try to focus on people who've got that experience and how they can help you. Um, and I think for people who've been doing business for a long time, I think it's actually important to always try to give back to your community.